Hey everyone, welcome back to Real Life Truth. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that affects countless individuals' worldwide emotional abuse in relationships. Whether you're navigating your own experiences or seeking to support a loved one, understanding the signs and red flags of emotional abuse is vital. In this video, we'll explore common behaviors that can be subtle yet damaging, empowering you with the knowledge to recognize and address these dynamics. Let's shed light on this important issue together. 1. Constant criticism if your partner consistently criticizes your thoughts, feelings, actions, or appearance in a demeaning or belittling manner. 2. Gaslighting this involves manipulating someone into questioning their own thoughts, memories, and reality. An abuser might deny things they've said or done, making the victim feel confused and doubting their own perceptions. 3. Isolation The abuser might try to isolate you from friends, family, or other supportive relationships, making you more dependent on them and reducing your support network. 4. Control This could include controlling your finances, daily activities, where you go, or who you see. They may impose rules and restrictions that feel suffocating or unreasonable. 5. Blame and guilt An emotional abuser often shifts blame onto you for their own behavior or feelings. They may make you feel guilty for expressing your own needs or emotions. 6. Verbal aggression This includes yelling, name-calling, insulting, or using hurtful language toward you, causing emotional pain and distress. 7. Manipulation Emotional abusers often use manipulation tactics to get what they want, such as guilt tripping, playing the victim, or using emotional blackmail. 8. Unpredictable mood swings You may feel like you're walking on eggshells, never sure how your partner will react or what mood they will be in. 9. Invalidation Dismissing or trivializing your thoughts, feelings, or experiences, making you feel like they don't matter. 10. Threats This can include threats of leaving, self-harm, or harming you or others if you don't comply with their demands or if you try to leave the relationship. 11. Humiliation and degradation Your partner may regularly embarrass you in public or private settings, make fun of you, or undermine your accomplishments or abilities. 12. Intimidation using threatening behavior, gestures, or looks to frighten or manipulate you into compliance or silence. 13. Scapegoating blaming you for everything that goes wrong in the relationship or their life, regardless of the actual circumstances. 14. Extreme jealousy constantly accusing you of flirting or cheating without reason, monitoring your activities, or trying to control who you talk to or spend time with. 15. Withholding affection punishing you by withholding love, attention, or affection to manipulate your behavior or emotions. 16. Stonewalling refusing to communicate or engage in meaningful conversation, shutting you out emotionally and leaving you feeling isolated. 17. Minimization of abuse denying that their behavior is abusive or downplaying the impact it has on you, making you question your own feelings and experiences. 18. Coercion using pressure tactics or threats to make you comply with their demands or engage in activities you're uncomfortable with. 19. Rigid gender roles insisting on traditional gender roles and expectations, where you are expected to fulfill stereotypical roles without negotiation or consideration for your desires or needs. 20. Lack of accountability avoiding taking responsibility for their actions, making excuses, or shifting blame onto external factors or you. 21. Cycle of tension and reconciliation, a pattern where periods of abuse are followed by apologies, promises to change, or periods of calm, which can make it difficult to leave the relationship or seek help. 22. Impact on mental health emotional abuse can lead to anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and other mental health issues due to the constant stress, manipulation, and invalidation. 23. Financial control taking control of finances in a way that limits your independence or ability to make decisions about money, such as withholding access to funds, giving you an allowance, or preventing you from working. 24. Cultural or religious abuse using cultural or religious beliefs to justify abusive behavior or control aspects of your life, such as what you wear, who you associate with, or how you practice your beliefs. 25. Sexual coercion pressuring or manipulating you into sexual activities or behaviors that you're not comfortable with, or using sex as a tool for control or punishment. 26. Parental alienation undermining your role as a parent, manipulating children against you, or using custody arrangements to control or manipulate you. 27. 
threats to harm others using threats of violence or harm toward loved ones, pets, or property to control your behavior or silence you. 28. Isolating behaviors monitoring or controlling your communication channels such as phone, email, or social media, preventing you from having privacy, or isolating you physically from others. 29. Manipulative kindness using acts of kindness, gifts, or gestures of affection strategically to maintain control or manipulate your emotions. 30. Enforcing rigid rules imposing strict rules or expectations on you and reacting with anger, punishment, or withdrawal of affection if you don't comply. 31. Economic abuse controlling your access to economic resources or preventing you from working or studying to achieve economic independence. 32. Victim blaming making you feel responsible for their abusive behavior or for the problems in the relationship, shifting the blame onto you for their actions. 33. Unpredictable responses reacting disproportionately to minor issues, swinging between extreme emotions e.g., intense affection and rage, or creating an atmosphere of tension and fear. 34. Invalidating your emotions dismissing your feelings, needs, or concerns as unimportant, irrational, or overly sensitive. 35. Long-term effects emotional abuse can have long-lasting effects on your self-esteem, mental health, and ability to trust others, making it challenging to recognize your own worth and make decisions that are in your best interest. 36. Using children using children to manipulate or control you, such as threatening to take them away or using visitation rights as leverage. 37. Forced isolation physically isolating you from friends, family, or social support networks by controlling your movements or access to transportation. 38. Chronic neglect ignoring your emotional or physical needs consistently, whether it's refusing to provide comfort when you're upset or withholding basic necessities. 39. Unreasonable demands making unreasonable demands on your time, energy, or resources without considering your needs or well-being. 40. Undermining autonomy making decisions for you without your input, disregarding your opinions and choices, or constantly questioning and second-guessing your decisions. 41. Criticizing beliefs and values invalidating or criticizing your beliefs, values, or cultural background, making you feel inadequate or ashamed of who you are. 42. Using privilege leveraging their privilege such as race, gender, economic status to exert control or dominance over you in the relationship. 43. Emotional blackmail threatening to harm themselves or others if you don't comply with their wishes or demands, manipulating your emotions to get what they want. 44. Invading privacy going through your personal belongings, phone, emails, or social media without permission, violating your privacy and sense of security. 45. Excessive jealousy and possessiveness showing extreme jealousy or possessiveness over your friendships, activities, or interactions with others, leading to monitoring and controlling behavior. 46. Explosive anger displaying sudden outbursts of anger, rage, or violence, creating an atmosphere of fear and unpredictability. 47. Sudden mood shifts displaying drastic shifts in mood or behavior, causing confusion and anxiety about how they will react or respond next. 48. Blaming mental illness or trauma, using their own mental health issues or past trauma as an excuse for abusive behavior, without taking responsibility for their actions or seeking help. 49. Excusing abuse making excuses for their behavior or minimizing the impact of their actions, shifting blame onto external factors or claiming it's for your own good. 50. Consistent disregard for boundaries ignoring or violating your boundaries, whether physical, emotional, or sexual, and disregarding your right to autonomy and consent. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, recognizing emotional abuse is the first step towards healing and building healthier relationships. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more empowering content. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Your voice matters. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.